so uh, welcome everyone. Uh, today, I um, uh, first want to thank you for coming and attending our presentation. It will be more like a story. We will tell a story. We will not go so much details in, about the research. So I'm Ahmed El Said, and I'm working for TechSplore in the research uh, and development department. And today, I am coming to tell you about the story of TechStand. TechStand is uh, a system that we started as an idea in our company in TechSplore in Germany and uh, developed to be an uh, application now in uh, almost 11 countries all over the world. So uh, expertise will find uh, exciting information in this uh, journey and also uh, non-expertise will find uh, really a, a good journey to, to listen to. So I will start with uh, the motivation for uh, our development. The motivation was that uh, dynamic monitoring is really a big field uh, in, uh, in the field of geodesy. And uh, uh, the current technology or the, uh, at this time was uh, mainly using geodetic receivers and the antennas for uh, the application of these things, which is uh, very expensive for uh, clients, especially small clients. And also, even for uh, a big organization, it needs uh, expertise to analyze this kind of data. So uh, some uh, companies was working on the low cost to reduce uh, the cost of these uh, geodetic receivers and antennas. And, but at this time, that was not enough accuracy for uh, big uh, applications of uh, the geodynamic. So uh, the goal uh, of our development at this time was to develop easy system, but still achieve the accuracy of the geodetic or the expensive systems. So this was our goal. But also to make it easy to use so uh, no expertise will need uh, to uh, involve it so much in this system but also uh, uh, to be autonomous. So we, uh, in general, uh, in, uh, in this kind of applications, you will need uh, so many devices to work to get good accuracy. But our uh, system working autonomously. So this was the goal in the beginning, to make a really easy system, but after all of that, to be with reasonable price. So not be so expensive like the geodetic uh, devices in the market in this time. Uh, after that, we did a lot of uh, uh, investigation in this time to uh, investigate the market from the hardware and from the software perspective to build a complete system for this one. Uh, the hardware uh, development uh, was mainly about uh, make a surveying for the market, see what is the best available uh, uh, receivers and antennas this time, and then uh, to move on after achieving the uh, good uh, selection and calibration and configuration of this uh, hardware to do a complete system uh, of software. Uh, so the system of the software that started from the binary data. So we collected uh, the binary data, trying to get it in a readable format, which is Rhinox and this uh, kind of data, and then to make a complete automatic system out of this uh, uh, binary data and uh, Rhinox data, and do also autonomous, uh, uh, autonomous validation for this accuracy. So here's the exciting information and uh, slides. So this was the evaluation of the market, of the low cost in this time. Uh, here we uh, collected uh, the, the best of the market, but also uh, did the analysis using uh, the uh, best available software in this time. So this is not our software. This is software from Narcan, the Canadian uh, PBB uh, analysis service. And we, uh, as you see here uh, with the Reddit dot, that it's a lot of rejected signal in this time because of the uh, discontinuity, a lot of discontinuity of the receivers and antennas in this uh, figure. And this is how we reach it uh, by the end of the hardware development. So here was uh, more about calibration, more about configuration of the best uh, receivers and antennas in the market. So we uh, converted uh, this image to be this one. With this one, we was really happy about the uh, quality of the signal that we got. We almost get zero percentage rejected of the uh, of the signal, and we also get very high uh, accuracy, which is uh, millimeter two or three millimeter in X and, uh, and horizontal and in vertical about seven millimeter. Uh, this uh, result really uh, uh, make us so exciting to make uh, more development for the software. So not only be like selling uh, a hardware for clients that they cannot use it, or they um, uh, hardly can get this kind of results. So we, 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 we think deeply how to make also a software to be uh, a complete system, to, to, to give the client a complete system and make it easy for him to use it. 
so uh, before this uh, step, we did uh, a second validation for our uh, hardware that we got a baseline solution with different IGS stations. So we solved our uh, uh, receiver data, which is R000, the first line on the right. We solved this uh, uh, hardware with 15 IGS stations. A very long baseline, very short baseline from 90 kilometers to 900 kilometers. We get in all of that one, I don't want to go in so much detail, but in general, we got an, uh, a precession of 2 3 millimeter in horizontal, 7 millimeter in vertical. Again, uh, something uh, uh, gave us more push to develop our own software for this uh, hardware. So we started with the hardware with the uh, flow from the uh, uh, at the left. We started from the logging of the data, converting the data, processing the data, and it, uh, also make a complete uh, cloud uh, system for us. So we speak here about TechStand as a hardware and the Sky uh, Text Sky as a cloud service, a complete uh, cloud service for TechSplorer, which we can collect all the data, all the GPS data, but also other sensors from for the clients to make it a complete umbrella software. So now for the client, it's, it's really uh, easy, and we took all the complication of the uh, database, the complication of processing the data, the analysis of the data inside this text sky, and give uh, the, uh, the client direct access to the daily uh, uh, X, Y, Z of the measurements. Then we went to the validation, validation of the complete system. Here in this uh, uh, test, we made uh, 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 the measurements was our software, was our hardware. So the measurement was our hardware, and the uh, analysis was our software, our uh, text, uh, text sky software. And here we, uh, the, 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 um, the test was building by two text stands. One is uh, movable, and the, uh, the other one is fixed. And we try to move like one centimeter every day, and at the end, half centimeter. And, and we, as we can see in the map, that the, there is really uh, complete correlation between when I, I move the antenna one centimeter, you can see directly on the uh, other map that completely correlated to the measurement. So this is a second validation for our system. Then we made a second, uh, a third validation at the IGS station at GFZ. We are located on both them, so we in correlation with uh, GFZ. We did this uh, measurement with the IGS station and one antenna, the other antenna was our system, and we get also a complete correlation, as you see in the graph. And at this point, we said uh, to the world that we have really tech stand, a complete system that can provide millimeter precision without any interference from uh, experts or anything. So the, the system working completely automatic, completely autonomous with one system for GPS, for GPS uh, experts know that what, what does it mean that you have one system, install it in the field, you get every day X, Y, Z uh, in millimeter precision without any uh, interaction of any expertise. So this is a feature of our uh, system. It's autonomous. It's automatic data processing provided to the client daily X, Y, Z in millimeter accuracy. And it's also, uh, we made something uh, more, more than this one, which is, Sorry, so fast. So uh, we made this text stand working also with four antennas. So for, for the clients who doesn't even have accessibility for so many devices to be built in the field, we made for him text stand which working with four antennas in the same times. All these antenna uploaded directly to our text sky uh, clouds, providing for the client final X, Y, Z. Really processed, really uh, accurate, precise data. Then we started also, as I uh, introduced in the beginning, that we have now uh, tech stand in 11, 11 countries. Five of them is already measuring in France, Netherlands, Austria, and Germany, Turkey. And we have other five countries we already agreed with them to install tech stand. I will give two examples of uh, our projects that we already did. One is uh, movable or dynamic monitoring on a bridge in France. And second one will be stable or uh, fixed uh, position uh, measurement. So, for example, this is uh, the measurement from a Brodo uh, in France, which is the hanging uh, bridge. And uh, we measured there for uh, 15 months. So this is 15 months data. And we can see a really correlation between the movement 
here uh, uh, of uh, uh, the green line is the movement in uh, horizontal direction and also the temperature. So, the, for example, at 25 de uh, degree temperature, we have the maximum extension on the bridge. So, we, s we see really a uh, big movement and the also in the shrinking, we see the minimum movement. I don't like to go in so much details, but I just wanted to show you some examples from what we did with uh, TechStand. Another uh, project, which is uh, a donation project, the TechStand, uh, TechSplore gave it for uh, after the Asia Minor. This is Asia Minor donation project that we did after the Turkey uh, catastrophe. I will not uh, mention here so much. Uh, tomorrow we will have a presentation by uh, my colleague uh, Bastian Kemmel uh, uh, in the same hall. So uh, who is interesting, who can come and attend more and uh, listen more about this uh, kind of project. In general, we, I will give just uh, one example from Adana. So uh, in this project, we have uh, six countries. I will give uh, uh, one uh, example from Adana, which is in uh, Turkey. Here we see the movement of the uh, tech stand. Uh, movement data in, in, in blue and the correlation between the movement and the earthquakes happening in this area. And we also provide what's called center point uh, measurement or center point mapping. Uh, so we collect the data every one month. We get uh, the center point of this month. And then uh, we provide a complete 2D map to show uh, the directions and the magnitude of the movement. On the, uh, as you see in the right, so we from, for example, here this measurement for six months from uh, uh, April to September. And we see the direction and the movement of uh, uh, the, the tectonic area in this uh, place. So for, for really expertise like uh, with GPS, they know uh, how difficult in the beginning uh, for, uh, to get this kind of data. So we started uh, with really aim to, uh, to, to get this dream at the end, to give the expertise uh, maybe in structure geology, for example, that they don't like to go in so much details of, uh, of geodesy really a good accessibility for uh, the GPS data. Uh, you are all invited also to our booth to uh, get uh, account to our text sky uh, surface. And um, I thank you. I think I finished my time. So.